Uh, hello, um, welcome back to another update on my um, Cubit A Wave Soft Vinyl Kit. I think this is update number five. Uh, anyways, I told you last time that the initial paint job has been pretty much finished, so now I had to do the uh, detailing. So, ta da! The detailing, yay! It seems to be almost finished. Wow. Anyways, let me highlight some of the paint that I've been using as well as what I've been doing. Um, yeah. Uh, we've got pink, obviously, uh, within these little corner areas. And uh, here, this was done by combination of regular masking tape. Oh, pardon the noise. That is the laundry the washing machine and a combination of the um, Mr. Masking Neo sort of like a weird rubber type of stuff. This stuff is really interesting I mean, basically it's the first time I've ever used it. This whole project was a large learning experience and um, definitely this was an interesting idea. Um, it worked out after a couple of practice runs and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it masks it dries faster than I expected, which is nice. It takes only about 20 minutes. Anyhow, um, metallic blue, uh, pink, metallic blue. Let's see. Uh, direct Mr. Color metallic blue. I don't know if you can see detail information, but it does say metallic blue. Um, and the pink was a Gundam color. Yeah, pink. Your basic pink. Uh, nothing added to it, just regular pink. Uh, let's move on. The head, uh, I've got steel. Let's see, steel. Can't see, I'm sure, but steel. Uh, and the metallic blue for the, the eyes. I don't know if you can see any details there. Uh, more, more pink. Pink. Uh, the uh, the purple I highlighted a couple of videos ago, uh, more steel um, for the um, I don't know what those are wiring tubes whatever uh, steel and uh, actually a purple mix between regular purple um, and steel mix those two got a darker purple and this is what the result is. Uh, pink. Uh, oh, look, it's cat. Bye, cat. Um, pink, purple, steel, and steel. Uh, yeah, don't worry about the, the pink inside here. It'll be covered by the heels. Uh, yeah, that's just overspray. Eh. Metallic blue, steel. Um, pink. Um, the gray, uh, which was actually a mix of character white and steel. Uh, let's see if I get character white. Basically, the white on everything is character white plus what is this called? This white pearl. Um, very translucent type of coloring. I don't know if you can see clearly here, but basically you need a solid coat of white on everything before you even think about putting this, because it actually isn't really white. It's just clear with sort of a glossy texture to it. So that's what basically glossed everything up. I don't know if you can see. The light's pretty bad today. It's a gray and rainy day, but I'm not sure if you can see that. This might be better. Uh, I have no idea if you can see the reflection surface on that. But anyways... It's pearly, glossy. Trust me on that one. Um, yeah, steel, pink, purple, and steel and pink. So that's it. It's uh, pretty much done. Now I just got to, you know, put it together. Really, um, I still need to. This is that that bod, ball joint mod that I added to the leg. I just need to do the same thing on this one and then attach it to this part which I had drilled a hole in 
And uh, that should be that should be it, really. I actually don't think there's any other modding I need to do. I think I actually might be close to done. Amazingly so. Anyways, pardon the shadows. Yeah. Uh, and thank you for watching. Um, hopefully, the next update will be my final update. The construction of this big bad boy. Um, again, sorry for the lateness. Uh, I have really no time schedule. So whenever I get to it is when I get to it. So uh, wish me luck. Hopefully it all works together and doesn't fall apart. And hopefully I don't break anything. Anyways, see you in the next update. Maybe the last one. Peace out.